men's soccer head coach Sean Green headed into his 33rd year here at Central Thirty third year, Jeff, yeah. Cool. You're uh, a legend around this place. Um, as, as you're wrapping up the preseason, uh, getting ready for first game tomorrow night against UMass Lowell, how do you assess the team, how they've looked these first couple weeks in preseason? Well, the kids have been working uh, tremendously hard. That was the first thing we needed to establish. It's a pretty young team, a lot of great local talent. Uh, you know, Two-thirds of the team are Connecticut born and raised players. And uh, at the beginning of the season, we established that uh, we need three things to be successful. The first thing, we need to work hard as a group, harder than any other team in the league that we play against. And if we work hard, we have a chance to play well. This is impossible to play well if you don't work hard. So if you work hard, we have a chance to play well. And if you have a chance to play well, you've got a chance to win games. And so that's been you know, our initiative this preseason, and we've, we've uh, making great steps towards that over the last 10 days. You have a, you have a, you talk about the team being young, but you do have some senior leadership back, uh, captains Nick Valleca and Luke Albertini. Talk a little bit about um, just having them back and what they've meant to the team and showing leadership to the younger guys. Well, you know, as you said, I've been here 33 years, and I think that Nick Valleca is probably the best captain I've ever had. And uh, over three decades I've been here, not just a captain, he's just an absolutely phenomenal guy. He's one of those types of guys who just lights up the room every time he walks in. He's an impeccable student. He's just a fantastic ambassador for everything at Central Connecticut. And um, he's well respected by his teammates, professors, everybody who comes in contact with him. He's the absolute perfect captain. I think he's got a great chance to go pro in the MLS. And, uh, and then this season we named Luke Albertini co-captain who deserved it, who's been a great leader, although he didn't wear the armband last season, he was certainly one of the big leaders in the team, and he's earned it. And again, you know, as I said, we can give it, we can give players an armband, but we can't make them captains. You know, that, com that leadership comes from them on the field, and they've demonstrated on and off the field that they're committed 100% uh, to being a Blue Devil here at Central Connecticut. That's great. It, 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 did you get ready for the opening game tomorrow night, um, UMass Lowell? Uh, they're ranked in a few national polls, and, and you talk about needing to work hard. What are some other things heading into this first game? What are you going to be looking for uh, at home? Well, we've got to be composed, you know, and we've got to believe that we're unbeatable, unbeatable at home and have, to have that belief system in us. It doesn't matter who we play, ranked and no-ranked teams, we expect to win at home. Uh, but they are going to be a great team. They had a fantastic season. They're coming for the season ranked 18th in the nation this year. They're going to, be, they're going to challenge us from the get-go. And we're under no illusion. I mean, we have to be at our best game to beat UMass Lowell. But there's a lot at stake. If we can knock off a nationally ranked team, it's going to be great for us. But we'll be prepared. Uh, they're very talented, organized, and only play a 3-4-3 system. So tactically, we'll be prepared for the game. And up, we will get opportunities. As long as we can get a shutout and capitalize on those opportunities that we get, I think we're going to be fine. Uh, moving ahead, you, you have some other challenging games on the schedule. Some some uh, games that should help build the team as you move forward under the year. Kind of what, with the young squad and guys you've got coming back, what are you going to be looking for over this, these first few games of the year? Well, first of all, to establish a starting 11. You know, we have a lineup there going out to the game Friday night. That may change in the next couple of weeks. Players play their way into the squad by their performance and training on a regular basis. And there's also players who play their way out of the start line by their performance. So number one is critical. Can we get up? Can we absolutely be certain and concrete who's our starting eleven uh, before conference comes around? And can we have a style of play which is simplified, everybody understands, which we believe in, and will be the most effective for the players that we have. So one is uh, establish our eleven players and make those eleven players not necessarily the best players in the league, but the best team in the league. That's very important. Thank you very much for your time, Coach. Uh, we look forward to tomorrow night's opener, Friday night, 7.30 under the lights here at CCSU Soccer Field. Be sure to follow all the latest on CCSU men's soccer at ccsubluedevils.com and here on NEC Front Row. Thanks again, Coach. Thank you, Jeff, and I look forward to all the fans coming out to see Connecticut's team.